go to the settings of your phone and select more. Choose teetering and portable hotspot and turn on the portable Wi-Fi hotspot. Now that we have turned on the hotspot on our cell phone, we can connect this computer to the wireless network. There, they found it. Tech Tips Tester. Double click and set it to connect automatically. We need to enter the security key. Do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network? We will go for yes. The computer is successfully connected to our hotspot via the cell phone. Next, you want to connect your printer to the hotspot, which in this case is simulating as a new router. You'll notice that the wireless icon is blinking, indicating that it is not connected. You can touch the blinking icon, and it says that it is not connected. We will need to go to the network setup. Go to Setup and select Network Setup. Select Wireless Settings and we can use the Wireless Setup Wizard. It is searching for wireless routers. Again, it has found our hotspot which is the Attack Tips Tester. Let's select that. And now we need to enter the wireless password. Is saying that the connection is successful. You'll notice that the IP address has changed from the previous router to the current router which is the hotspot. Take note of this IP address. After connecting your computer and printer to the new network you should be able to print and scan. However, if you are not able to print and scan, you might need to do some troubleshooting. The first step to troubleshooting is to go to your control panel, devices and printers. To do that, right click on the Windows icon and go to control panel. Select view devices and printers. Right click on the printer and go to printer properties. Go to ports. And you'll find that it's actually using the TCP IP port. Go to configure port. And you will realize that the IP address is that of the old router. You need to change it to the new router. Go to your printer's front control panel and tap on the wireless icon and it will display the new IP address. We will key in a new IP address. And close. Now we will attempt to check to see whether we are able to print and scan. Right click again on your printer and go to printer properties and select print test page. The test page is printed successfully. Next, we will try a scan.
you will try a JPEG scan. Again, the scan is successful. So now your printer is able to print and scan using the new router settings.